Did you know we can reprogram your cells to make them younger without actually changing your DNA? This is called epigenetic reprogramming and it's an exciting breakthrough that happened almost two decades ago, but is finally coming into fruition in a clinical setting. As we age, cells don't just go through a wear and tear process, their instruction manual, which is the DNA, actually gets distorted, meaning the cell can no longer figure out what its job is. The actual instructions or epigenetic code gets scrambled. So this means that the cell no longer can perform its task as it once used to, but now we have tools that can reset this epigenetic code. The most well-known is partial epigenetic reprogramming with Yamanaka factors. This in animal studies has been shown to make old mice young again. But the problem with these epigenetic reprogramming transcription factors is that sometimes it can be too much, meaning that the cell loses its identity. A lot of research is actively going into this area and there's huge amount of investment from companies like Otto's Lab, which is owned by Jeff Bezos, and there's Retro Sciences, which is owned by Sam Altman, the ChatGPT guy. Clinically, right now, we do have some options that can and meaningfully change your cellular signatures. The two that we use in the clinical setting is of course Muse exosomes and Muse stem cells. So really the take home message is that we are entering an era where we can reverse aging at a cellular level. This is just the beginning of that era using these standardized cell therapies and exosomes, but we're not that far off from a future where we can rewire or reprogram your cells to make them young again.